Arizona Athletics is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Title IX with a day-long event. News for Tucson's David Kelly joins us in studio with more. David. Indeed, Sean, it was 50 years ago today that President Richard Nixon signed a bill that was just 37 words long, but it was 37 words that opened the door for girls and women to compete on an equal level with boys and men in athletics across any educational realm that received government financing. And although women had been competing in sports at the U of A for years prior to the passing of Title IX, Forever after, there would be no excuse for their playing field and access to compete not being on the same plane as the men who were putting on a Wildcat uniform. 37 words, a longtime U of A athlete and athletics administrator Kathleen Rocky LaRose said today changed the game. It doubled, tripled, quadrupled participation, which was proving that all those years before, it wasn't a lack of interest, but rather it was a lack of opportunities. Title IX was a part of the education amendments of 1972. It passed the Senate by a vote of 88 to 6. Among the six senators who voted against were both representatives of the state of Arizona, Republican Barry Goldwater and Republican Paul Fannin. 